Sunday, May the 9th, the sixth Sunday of Easter, year B. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verses 25 to 26, verses 34 to 35, and verses 44 to 48. As Peter reached the house, Cornelius went out to meet him, knelt at his feet and prostrated himself, but Peter helped him up. Stand up, he said. I'm only a man after all. Then Peter addressed them. The truth I have now come to realise, he said, is that God does not have favourites, but anybody of any nationality who fears God and does what is right is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit came down on all the listeners. Jewish believers who had accompanied Peter were all astonished that the gift of the Holy Spirit should be poured out on the pagans too, since they could hear them speaking strange languages and proclaiming the greatness of God. Peter himself then said, Could anyone refuse the water of baptism to these people now they have received the Holy Spirit just as much as we have? He then gave orders for them to be baptised in the name of Jesus Christ. Afterwards, they begged him to stay on for for some days. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response already is Sam. The response. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Psalm 97 98 verses 1 to 4. Sing the Lord a new song, for he has performed marvels. His own right hand, his holy arm, gives him the power to save. Response, the Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord has displayed his power, has revealed his righteousness to the nations. Mindful of his love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. Response, the Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The most distant parts of the earth have seen the saving power of our God. Acclaim the Lord all the earth, bursts into shouts of joy. Response, the Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The first letter of St. John, chapter Uh, 4 verses 7 to 10. My dear people, let us love one another, since love comes from God, and everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Anyone who fails to love can never have known God, because God is love. God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only Son, so that we could have life through him, This is the love I mean, not our love for God, but God's love for us. When when he sent his son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. It is easy to love the people far away. It is not always easy to love those close to us. It is easier to give a cup of rice to relieve hunger than to relieve the loneliness and pain of someone in unloved in our own home. Bring love into your home. For this is where our love for each other must start. St. Teresa of Calcutta, Mother Teresa, 1910-1997 Alleluia, 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 Alleluia A reading from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 15, verses 9 to 17. 
Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants any more, but because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends, because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my father. You did not choose me, no, I chose you, and I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the Father will give you anything you ask in his, in my name. What I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.